My name is Isaac, and welcome back to The Binding of Rhapsody. We're going to be going into a Eden streak on hard mode. Because that's how we roll. We put our hands up near our shoulders, crouch down, and tilt ourselves forwards. That is how we roll. So, let's pick ourselves up a bomb to open up that tinted rock just beforehand. And then we're going to be sweet for a while. Oh, baby. Give me that shoop to whoop Now, I'm starting with abnormally high damage here. I'm pretty happy about it. It's also going to have an empty red heart container, thanks to the fact that we have the fat odd mushroom, which actually doesn't fill the red heart container it gives you. God damn it. <laughs> that didn't work out in my favor. Oh, come on. Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb. Give me the bomb. I'm not actually going to use a shoop to whoop this turn. I'm going to just shoop to whoop in the boss room. Now, our tiers look deceptively small for the fact that we're doing 5 damage. This is higher than any base character starts with. Come on, a single... Single fucking penny would get us started on this, uh... On this train. Whoops. Accidentally killed the boss instantly, that's my bad. I honestly didn't mean to. Shoot the Whoop was buffed in the Afterbirth patch. Now it does four times your damage rather than two. Makes it far more useful to be honest. Starting with the thin odd, uh, sorry, fat odd mushroom is fine. It's a small damage up. It's nice. Definitely not something to sneer at. No need to clear this room using shoot to whoop. Just a penny. I'm even going to go into the shop and shoot the fires to try and get a penny. Like that's what you've degraded me to, game. Alright, I have to get out of here. <laughs> Just in case I was about to die. It's possible I now only have half of a heart, though. Trying to be keeping a little bit of a track. Right. One penny. One penny. Fucking hell. At least there was nothing in that shop that I'm super interested in getting. Let's move on. Okay... Ooh, it's not a great amount of health to have, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be able to deal with it. Key for my item room. Thank you. Now, this is only a two-room charge, so it's not super painful to have to lose the charge on it. Oh, come on. Get me a bomb here. Oh, video game. Come on. Look at all these bombs lying on the ground that I could pick up if I just got one fucking bomb! Oh. Take this as charm tears. Unfortunately, it's not the one that I wanted because there is Mum's Perfume and Mum's Eyeshadow. I used to think, oh, they're very similar. Mum's Eyeshadow gives you fear and... Mom Sorry, Mum's Eyeshadow gives you charm and Mum's Perfume gives you fear. Awesome, they're very similar. No. Not even slightly. First off, do this, and then I can elaborate on that. Uh, Mum's Perfume is also a tier delay down. By one. Which makes it infinitely better of an item. That could have killed me if I wasn't careful. Okay, now, this is exactly what I was talking about. We could have had this last floor... Just get the bomb train started. But no. It didn't want to happen for us last floor, unfortunately. Really keen on getting a key now because we definitely have enough to... Eh, that'll be fine. We definitely have enough to go to a shop. Uh, I'm going to get two charges for finishing this room, so I may as well use Shoot to Whoop. Because it's free. Alright, uh, check for a secret room above this room? I've got enough bombs that I can do it. Nice. And then that's a free entrance into our shop. Well, I say free. Kind of free. Basically free. I can't get an arcade this floor, so there's no reason for me to take the swallowed penny. I do want the key, though. I am really low on keys at the moment. 
I should also kill you. Because I'm not going to have trouble with bombs. And if I do kill it, I have a relatively decent chance of getting bombs back. All it needed to do was drop pennies, like it did. But those pennies just needed to drop bombs. I rolled a... T sorry, I rolled a 50% and then another 50%. So, 75% of the time, I would have gotten at least a bomb there. 25% of the time, I would have gotten two bombs. That's two bomb payouts, not two bombs. Because a bomb payout can also be two bombs. Okay. Size up. Sorry, size down, speed up. Nice. Uh, definitely going to be taking both of these. I like them both. 48 hour energy. Interesting. We'll finish the floor and come back. I found the secret room. I haven't found the super secret room. There's no reason not to just check. Oh, never mind. Ah. Shitty. Uh, I'm trying to fight against my better nature. I, I want to leave the floor, personally. But I also know... That there could be something really important lurking, waiting. Wanting me to find it. Like, this tower card. We wouldn't have gotten this tower card if we didn't backtrack. So, haha. That means nothing. We wouldn't have gotten that half heart for the dark bomb. So I think you'll find we made a good decision. Let's move onwards then. Tower card might turn out to be useful at some point later, later, later. But for right now, ugh. Okay. Probably clear this with, yep. See? See how that beam was hovering over the hoop and did nothing to it near the end there? That's the reason I don't like Shoop de Whoop. It was never Shoop de Whoop's damage, although it was slightly Shoop de Whoop's damage. It was never really Shoop de Whoop's damage that I didn't like. It was just the fact that it had an animation that made you think it was doing damage to a target that it wasn't. And it felt like the animation didn't suit. That was my biggest problem with it. Which hasn't been resolved, sadly. Uh, this looks like a secret room to me. I mean, not really. I was kidding. Yeah, I was kidding. Clearly. Uh, fuck. If I had the tower card, I probably would have used it right now, so... Sad thing I don't. Okay, there's a heart over there for Dark Bomb to pick up. Oh, goddamn. I did not expect them to both leap over the poops onto the inside. I thought I was going to be able to dodge in one direction, but no, that is not the case. All right, this should be your first payout because I gave you that half heart last floor. Turns out to be important. Hmm. It totally isn't. Okay. Five keys. Nice. We've got a stockpile. Definitely not interested in leaving that room alive for a while. Okay, this is so easily re-rolled. No, I'm gonna get all my spirit hearts from Dark Bomb. Nope. Yep. It's a good item. If you're wondering why I paid money, even though I probably would have chosen to keep the money and use the bombs. It's because if you use bombs, you get fewer rerolls. Before the machine explodes. And I definitely wanted to get as many rerolls in there as possible. Oh, baby! Not only did we get synth oil, we also got to deal with the devil. Sadly, it's a Krampus fight, but you know, you can't always get what you want. Fucking hate you, Krampus. You're the worst thing. Just the worst. Alright, we've finished Krampus. Again! Again! My brain is like, just leave the floor. Why are you still here? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna persevere and finish, though. 
Because we might find another half red heart for the dark bomb. Who knows? Maybe I end up finding enough resources to... Ah, fuck it. Kill him. Maybe I end up finding enough resources to go through some re-rolls. Re-rolls? What am I talking about? Some plays on the sack machine. Sack machine. It's not even called that! The self-sacrifice room, rather. That's not its name. Right. Ba-boom. Ha-ha! That's a lot of resources right there. Okay, make sure I leave the room before he starts dropping things. Otherwise, he will drop all of them as red hearts. Perfection. Uh, there's no reason to enter there, right? <clears throat> Still haven't found the secret room. I've got... Zero? Yeah, I've got zero locations for it right now. That's not good. Oh, fuck. I now have actually straight up zero locations on this entire map for it. Okay, there's, there's something I've overlooked. There must be. Knew it. That's a... Uh, yeah. Explosive diarrhea. So it literally cannot be adjacent to anything down here. Blocked in all directions. It's blocked upwards here as well, which is the annoying thing. This is open. Yeah. It's literally the only location that was. Oh, hey, there's also a juicy little bunny in here. Oh, hey there. Didn't see you. Just playing with my sticky buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Djibouti dubs, way too good. What have we got in here? That's right, I'm bombing individual mushrooms. That's how confident I feel with my supply of bombs. I could easily bomb a donation machine in order to get an item. I haven't fought a mini boss this law, so it could easily also just be greed. Oh. Well, honey, I think you're going to find that I'm taking all this. <laughs> Just donated it back to the donation machine. Apologizing whilst I rob it. Okay, next floor I can get an arcade as well, so I should get up to five cents before I leave. Thank you. Well, turns out finishing the floor... Definitely a good idea. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't play the self sack room enough to feel good about it, unfortunately, so I'll just move on. You know what? Here's something that I don't do often. Let's try it out. A, a, a reroll machine that's already finished? Yeah, I'm just going to blow it up, try and get myself some money, and it worked out. I love that those pay out with something after they're finished as well. It's just... It's nice. I'd prefer if a lot more things were lenient like that. Not everything, but many things. Okay. Polish them all off. Oh god, that's annoying. Uh, fine. I'll do this. It's worth it for the keys. Yep, 100% a good idea. I had no interest in completing that room the natural way. That's our second bomb. I have to take it. I have to. Oh, fucking question marks and this curse. Like, cars. No, not that one. 
Just wanted to gaze. I, I was teleported somewhere. I was just teleported and I don't know where I am now because I can't refer to the fucking map. No. At least I don't have Curse of the Blind. Oh, come on. I was... <sighs> I was conscious of the fact that those could do that. But I was really hoping I was just going to get in in time. Is this just a natural pathway? Yes, it is. Okay. Right, I've been up there. Let's get a blank card here. How's that? Go to the shop. Blank card. Get that extra coal damage in. Oh, baby. Thank you for the friendly spider. That's okay. For a second there, I thought you were going to betray me with some sort of a some sort of a non-friendly spider, but you'd never do that to me, would you? I've just got a feeling. Let's try it. Yep. I got to rely on my feelings more often. And actual strategy about where I think the room is going to be placed less often. Because the feelings have got it down pat, apparently. Excuse? I was so certain I was going to be able to kill that in time. We're only one bomb away from Super Bomb. Finally, I might actually have a run that has Super Bomb doing things. Because usually when I have Super Bomb, I'm... I've broken the game, right? I've broken the ever-loving shit out of the game. And then Super Bomb has appeared at the very end. Basically to stop the break. Uh, I, I, there's a golden chest down there. Okay. I was about to say, I can't see what I'm going to be getting. Oh. You read my mind, video game. No! Fuck off! You piece of shit! Two of diamonds. I'm mad about it. I'm furious. That's why I don't take you. You greedy little fuck. Oh, man. I'm a salty sailor right now. I really am. Got the mouth to match. All right, up here has to be our boss fight because we've literally gone in every other direction and found every other se uh, secret. I mean, special room. Yeah. Boss fights. I would hazard a guess that that's a super secret as well. Yeah. All right. Go for your life, buddy. Oh, interesting. So the beggars actually follow each other. I wonder if Bumbo follows in that tribe or does his own thing. He can go his own way. Go his own way. God damn. Okay. What the fuck is going on with my hitbox? I'm getting hit by things that I do not think I should be hit by. Okay, that one was fair. I am getting a lot of deals with the devil here. Ones that I def- Nope, taking that scent. Fuck off. Drop that lazy worm, like an ugly baby. I- Note, 
I'm not even horrible enough to use that phrase in my everyday life. It's just I once played a game that was called one, two, three, kick it, drop that beat like an ugly baby. And that might be my favorite game title of all time. Except for Dr. Lanskarov and the curse of the... I can't remember what it is, but it was made by the developer or one of the developers behind the Stanley Parable. I think it's the developer that didn't go on to make the beginner's guide. But it was made by one of the developers behind that. That easily could have just been, uh, whatchamacallit, Cursed Eye, and I would have been super sad. But it was made by one of the developers of that game. And I'm interested. I'm definitely interested in playing it. It's apparently like only a 30 minute game, so it would be a one off LP. I remember. Ages and ages ago, I was planning on looking at it, but then I got sidetracked with something else at the same time. One of the reasons I'm hesitant to do games like that is, like, games like Stanley Parable, games like uh, Beginner's Guide, games like Dr. Lanskarov. Uh, one of the reasons I'm hesitant to do games like that is because they very heavily rely on their narration. And that doesn't really leave much space for me as the Let's Player. So it becomes less of a, like, here's the way I play the game, which is the majority of my content, I would say, is this is how I play the game rather than this is the game. It, it feels like it would be more of a walkthrough than a let's play. There we go. That's, that's, that's the phrasing that I've always been looking for. It feels like it would be more of a walkthrough than a let's play. So it's something that I would have to play through and then just go, yeah, this worked, or no, this didn't work. Still still yet to do that. Still planning on doing that. It's on my to-do list, actually, still. Okay. Uh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. He's a good boy. Pop this open and blow this up. So I'm fine with having Brother Bobby because it is part of the transformation that I really want. Which is every transformation in the game. No. It's it's part of Conjoined specifically, but I want most of the transformations in the game. I'm one off Guppy, two off Conjoined. Uh, two off Spawn, two off Fun Guy. I love that there's so many. I really do. I'm not going to take Samson's lock, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan. Unless I'm in greed mode, in which case I think it's amazing. But I rarely ever get it in greed mode these days. The only times I get it in greed mode, or the only times I got it in greed mode, were before I understood how good it was in greed mode. And then as soon as I went and had it pointed out to me, from an academic perspective, how good it would actually be, never got it again. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, there's a few things I could have done to increase my deal with the devil chance, and I still haven't. God damn. Deal with the devil? Uh, didn't earn one. Meat, damage plus HP up. Very nice. Let's do. Fuck it. It's Curse of the Blind. I don't even care. Let's Louvre. Uh, Louvre. Yeah, let's Louvre. Curse of the Maze is okay. As long as it's not Curse of the Blind, I ain't gonna complain that much. Still will complain occasionally. But it's still less than I would have been complaining if it was Curse of the Maze, so... You've got that going for you, video again. God damn. Okay, Floop Worm, not a huge fan. Come on. Anything that lets me charge my item faster or use my item more often, I would be hugely interested in just so that I don't have to worry about all this trash these horrible spacebar items that I keep getting that spacebar what am I talking about trinkets that I keep getting that I don't want I want more choice damn it okay this is the optimal area to shoot this from perfect Oh, excellent. I even found this before I found the item room. 
I mean, it's only got this floor to be interesting for me, or rather useful. Pop this open. Increase my deal with the Devil Chance by 5%. Uh, probably got the item room somewhere over here, rather. Okay, that's actually really good. I'm going to take Watch Battery. Try and get myself some more charges. Try and pop this item a little lot more often. Retro Vision. Eh, let's drop Retro Vision before I accidentally use it. See, I wouldn't accidentally use it, actually. What, what would happen is I'd just go, eh, fuck it. How bad can it be? And I'd just use it. Just to get it out of the... I should have remembered what the question marks is. Oh, well. We already had uh, Curse of the Maze, actually. It doesn't matter. Unless it intensifies the effect, but I can't imagine that they put in a scenario for that. Pulse Worm is nice. If it intensifies the effect, then I'm just so sad. Oh, wait, I can start giving all of my money to Dark, uh, to dark Bum, to Normal Bum now. Okay, so here's what we're hoping for. We go into the item room, and there is the juiciest key master that you've ever seen in your goddamn life. Just looking super sexy up on that pedestal, and we take it and we get ourselves a super bum. That's the kind of thing I'd like to see. Oh, well then. Looks like we're taking Chemical Peel. Two damage up on half of our shots. Fine with that. No. And watch battery. Okay. Okay, I'm shooting into your frequency. I'm um, picking up what you're putting down. I'm jiving your jam, buddy. We can see what's going on in here. Able. Wow, retrovision and explosive diarrhea. I'm so psyched to pick them up. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am that those items spawned. I can't go up there anymore, unfortunately. The boss trap room is locked off to me because I took meat last floor. Huh. Always turning up when you're not going to be useful anymore, Rib of Greed. Even though you wouldn't have been useful this run anyway, I didn't have a Greed encounter. That was nice. It's a pleasant time for me. Alright then. Go for our boss fight. It's a very aggressive, very aggressive opening. I got all the time in the world, Mum. All the time in the world. Pop an eye out. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Pop on one eye out one more goddamn time. Alright, fine. I'm not really gonna get much damage in if I try and fight her legitimately, though. Look how much damage I get in per stomp. It's it's absurdly low. Damn it. There we go. That's what we want. Oh, wow. I didn't even do much damage there. I do not have a good build for fighting bosses or anyone, really. I just don't do enough burst damage. My tears are super slow. My damage is okay. Oh, damn. The stomps are real. This is just more proof, if you ever needed it, that I'm not mechanically really that strong of a player. It's just that I tend to prioritize my resources in such a way that means I survive, even if I'm not. Works out for me. K. 
tank. Nope. Still only one guppy item away from guppy. So I'm very optimistic. I'm also almost at all times only one trinket away from success. I hate this room, 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 I hate this room. This is a bad room. Satan himself designed this room, actually, if you're interested in a little bit of trivia about the game's development. Okay, let's see if we've got a tinted rock nestled around in here. Very much would be interested in picking up a small rock and then it tears up from the boss. And then this whole run turns itself around at that point, and I, uh, start singing its praises. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Soon. I mean, not right now, but soon. And now we're okay. Totally good. I wasn't sweating it at any point there. I was completely fine. I kept my cool, as you can tell. The consistent vocal tone really gave me away on keeping my cool there. Okay. Fuck it. Take it. Yeah, thanks for the explosive diarrhea pill. Fuck you too, basically. <laughs> God damn. Alright. Let's try and get the extra damage out of the coal, because that's pretty much what we need to rely on for our damage right now. Because even though we have some of damage ups, we don't really have that many. And we definitely don't have enough to make up for the fact that we don't have tears up at all. Sure, that's how I was planning to kill it. Yeah. Roll through so many trinkets and I still don't really have any acceptable ones. Oh, it's, it's painful. Oh, it's a painful life I'm leading right now. Tell you what, Bobby. It's a painful laugh. Okay, where can I... Nope, that's definitely not going to be it. But hey, thanks for the spirit heart. Dark Bomb! What was that? You fucked me, Dark Bomb. You really did. Dropping a spider on my head. If you tell me it's just a prank, I'm gonna slap your goddamn puffy little cheeks. Slap him right off. Alright. I'm looking at that I'm looking at that uh, that secret room. That secret room. What am I talking about? The the, 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 the Curse room? Yeah, the curse room. That's the room I'm looking at. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's a little bit of a saucy option right there. But especially the fact that I just took that damage in this room. The two extra spirit hearts worth of damage I just took in this room. Kind of making it less saucy of an option. Not really thinking about it anymore. Up until that point, super saucy. Now, absolutely not possible whatsoever. Ooh, thank you for the black heart. Whomever provided that to me. That might not have been the correct use of whom. Oh, damn it. I'm better at using it when I'm writing, not when I'm speaking. Okay, store key, useless. No, I don't want that either. All right, then. Oh, fucking... What is going on here? Why the bloat? Why did I have to get the bloat? Out of all of the bosses. Yep, there goes my deal with the devil. And there goes my life. I don't... I don't know if this is going to work. 
I'm dead instantly. I don't know if this is going to work out for us. I really don't. I'll be honest. I don't know if I can fight, uh, fight the bloat without taking a hit of damage. Thank you for the spirit health. That's really going to help, actually. Oh, my God. Me okay, the hitbox that I have is interacting with those... I just got killed instantly. Is interacting with those fucking eyes in a weird way. I don't think I should have been hit by a lot of the things that hit me. A lot of that was straight... Oh, come on! I should probably be taking Blind Rage into this fight, but... I can guarantee... Oh, what? I thought that creep would just slow me. I should probably be taking Blind Rage into this fight, but I can guarantee you... In one way or another, I am taking Blind Rage into this fight. I just, like... I mean, moving through the map meant that I had to take that. And, yeah, I got killed. This is such an annoying fight if you can't kill them fast. Like, this can sometimes just be a gate. Like, you get to this point, and if you're not powerful enough, it's just like, oh, okay, well played. You tried. Good work. What happens there? How did you take so much damage suddenly? Why wasn't I involved with dealing any of that damage? That was abysmal. No tier increase. Some damage increase, which was nice, but not enough to carry us through. Good lord. We had one. Oh, we had two damage items and coal. Okay. We started with five damage and then we took the 1.5 damage up. So we actually had one damage up from the very start of the game. Awesome. My name is Mino Rhapsody. The name of the game is being God fucking damn it. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game. Pass from the future and hopefully we'll see you next time.